Hey folks, this is Mary. Welcome back to my channel. So it is Sunday. My desk is dusty again because the window's open. Um, it is Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers out there. And I have spent a delightful afternoon with my mother. I just got home and um, she lives a little ways away from me, so I had to leave early this morning to um, go see her. And traffic wasn't awful. That's all I'll say. It wasn't awful. <laughs> or I would have been back even later than I was. But um, I left early, so I didn't get a chance to do my Swatching Sunday video before I left. So I'm doing it now that I'm home. And I'm hoping our sunlight will hold on until I can get through these inks. And I have a few more waiting in the wings for us if the sunlight does hold out. So we'll see how that goes. But um, I did want to say that we have reached 400 subscribers. Yay! I'm so excited. Um, I think we hit 400 on Friday. So thank you so much to all of those. Wait, what am I saying? <laughs> thank you so much to all of you who have subscribed. And thank you for watching even if you haven't subscribed. I'm, I'm always glad to have people here watching my videos. And the more people to talk about ink and pens and journals and paper and all that fun stuff, the better. So it's just one big happy paper party. All right, so I have a box of bottles of ink that I have not yet swatched. So these are some Sailor Shikiori inks that I have. And I don't think I've swatched them. I mean, I have this this big box full of bottles that I just haven't dealt with yet. But I think I've done a video about these. Maybe I did an unboxing video, but I don't think I've actually swatched them yet. So we're going to swatch them. And if this is a repeat, a repeat, please excuse me. And my neighbor's dogs are barking, so please excuse them. But anyway, let's get started. So first up... Oh no, I took them out of the boxes and the names, the English names, are not on the bottles. So I'm going to have to find my boxes here. So, uh oh, is this this one? Oh dear, oh dear, those characters don't look the same, do they? Mm, if only I knew Japanese. Okay, so there must be another green one. I'm looking for another green one. Hold on one second. Okay, let's see if this is the one. Is this the one? Ooh, do those characters match? <gasps> I think we have a winner. Alrighty. So this is Tokiwa Matsu. And that reminds me, I just recently re-watched Arrival with... Um, Oh shoot, what's her name? Amy Adams. Oh my goodness, I love Amy Adams so much. I think she is just charming and she's a wonderful actress. But um, if you haven't seen Arrival, I highly recommend it. It's uh, just to give you a brief recap. Um, these alien craft show up on Earth in several places around the globe. And the military, the American military goes to the American site and they're trying to communicate with the aliens and they just can't. So Amy Adams is a linguist and they bring her in to try to communicate with the aliens. And I love this movie for several reasons. First of all, I love science fiction. Second of all, I love Amy Adams. And third of all, I love words. I mean, it's just fascinating the process she goes through trying to speak to these aliens that don't make recognizable sounds. So this is Sailor Shikiori. Let me see if I try to spell this name right. And this is Tokiwa Matsu. Oh my goodness, the dogs are barking so much. I do apologize. But welcome to my world. <laughs> they bark all the time. I love dogs. I have a dog. My dog does not bark all the time. He's a sweetheart. Okay, now we need a Q-tip. Alrighty. Ooh, this is nice and dark. 
What a pretty green. Oh. Hmm. Can we get a drip out of him? <gasps> I think we can. Oh, but you see how there was that funky spot and the ink just flowed right around it? So that was from my fingers or something. Something got on there. But that is lovely. And look at the different stripes. It's like green and yellow stripes. That is crazy. Very cool. Well, I'll be interested to see what the other green looks like. In fact, why don't we do that one right now? And I don't know about you. I don't know how you feel about ink boxes. But, um, oh, please excuse me if that was loud. But I am a big believer in keeping my bottles in the box to keep them out of the sunlight. And also, heaven forbid, if they should get knocked over, hopefully the box will give them a little bit of cushioning. So, I, I think ink bottles are beautiful. And I would, I would love to have, you know, a big row of them in my little cabinet so I could look at all of them but I, I would rather protect them from light. Okay, so we're comparing characters here. Make sure we've got the right ink. And I think we have a match here as well. So this is Miruai. That's my best guess, Miruai. And I remember trying to pronounce this one before, so I've definitely done a video about it. I just don't know if I have swatched it, but I don't think I have. I feel like I just use the same ink cards over and over again to do swatches. So that's why I'm trying to get all of my ink swatched. So I'll have more things to compare them to. You know, more ink cards to compare new inks to. But um, also, I don't put an ink bottle in my cabinet until it's been swatched. So I've got this big box of bottles that I may or may not have swatched yet. So I'm just trying to get them processed, so to speak, so I can get them out of the box. All right, so this is Sailor Shikiori, and this is very dark. And let's make sure I spell it correctly. Miruai. I think, I think that's it, Miruai. That's what it looks like. Did I ever tell you about my experience in Japanese class? I probably have at some time. I, I'm sure I'm like one of those old people who just repeats the same couple of stories over and over again. I'm sure I've told you all of my stories, but I just repeat them. But anyway, I, I was really interested to take Japanese in college. So I signed up for Japanese because, you know, you have to take a language in college. And our professor was from... Oh, shoot. I'll never think of it. It was an exclusive women's college. Bryn Mawr. She was from Bryn Mawr. She had just moved to our little college. Oh, my goodness. This one is super dark. Wow. Ooh, very pretty. Much darker than the other green. Mm, but not much of a drip. Let's see if I can get him to drip a little bit. Oh, yep, there it goes. Mm, he's just running all over the place. Yeah, the drips are fun because that's where you see a lot of the sheen. Which is fun to see. Even though it doesn't always show up in our writing. It's still fun to look at. So, yes. My professor was from Bryn Mawr. And, um... She was a little Japanese lady, and she was dead serious. She was not messing around teaching us Japanese. And I sat at the front of the room like the good little student I was, which meant I was always her first victim. <laughs> and, um, okay, let's see if we can find this one. Is that it? Yo, Naga. Oh my goodness, that looks like the Space Needle. In case you're new here and you haven't heard, I'm obsessed with Seattle. So I love anything that looks like the Space Needle, and that looks like the Space Needle. And kind of a man in a top hat, too. Hmm. 
Hmm, a long-haired man in a top hat. I wonder what those symbols mean. If anybody knows Japanese and can translate that, I would love to know. Um, anyway, she would have a phrase for us to learn that day. And since I was first in line, she made me repeat it over and over and over again until I pronounced it correctly. Oh, I got some fuzz on my, on my glass nib. And Gus is having a meltdown behind me. Um, whew, I gotta get the fuzz off of my, off my glass nib. These are some fuzzy paper towels. Oh my goodness, these are not good for fountain pens. But I won't mention the brand <laughs> in case I offend anyone. Perfectly nice paper towels, just not good for fountain pens. Like the uh, the Q-tips, the fuzzy fuzzy Q-tips are not good. Okay, I think I think we're fuzz free now. What do you think? Can we see that? Ooh, look at the pretty glass nib. I am losing my train of thought. So yes, she would make me repeat a phrase over and over again until I pronounced it properly. And then she would move on to the next person and the next person. Well, I said it every wrong way there was to say it. So by the time she got to the other people, they all knew how to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> so it was challenging. And I lasted about two weeks. And then I withdrew from the class and I ran back to French class because I had taken four years of French in high school. Not that y'all need to know my whole educational history, but I took French in high school. So I felt like I had enough French and I wanted to try something new, but college language classes move very quickly. And I was just not prepared to learn Japanese under those rigorous conditions. So I went back to French and I took two years of French in college, which is basically like four years of French in high school because each semester is so, um, so chock full of information. But um, the second year I took French, my professor was just wonderful. He was a retired high school French teacher. And he's one of the best teachers I've ever had. He was fabulous. <gasps> and you know what else is fabulous? This ink. I am in love. Look at that. Wow. Let's see how he dries. And I can see our light is fading, which makes me sad because I don't know if we're going to get through these six inks, let alone the other inks I had picked out. Oh, and my knuckles turn in all different colors. Oh my goodness. That was the Yonaga. Here it looks green and purple, and on the card it looked blue. So you never know what's in your ink. Also, I hurt my hand. I don't know what I did. I am just complaining today. My goodness. I think I'm just getting old, but it's getting hard to grip stuff, which is not good. Thankfully, it's my left hand and not my right hand, because I write with my right hand, and if I couldn't hold a fountain pen... I don't think life would be worth living. Okay, so let's make sure this is right. Is that right? Are we gonna focus? Come on, little camera. Here we go. <gasps> it's the space needle again. Let me put this on this side. That's better. Shimoyo. Ooh, it looks like a, a jellyfish is visiting the space needle. A jellyfish with an umbrella or something. I don't know. I'm being silly. Please excuse me. I hope I'm not offending anyone. But yeah, I was not in Japanese class long enough to learn any Japanese characters. I can introduce myself in Japanese, and that's about it. All right. Wow. This is looking very much like Yonaga. So this is... Sailor Shikiori. Make sure we're spelling it correctly. Shimoyo. That is a Y. I'm just making it worse. It's very pretty. It's very dark. It's very dark blue. Very much like Yonaga. I'm telling you, people, Sailor is just rebottling the same inks 
and suckers like me are falling for it. I was looking at something. Shoot. I think it was Grenade or Grenade. And there was another ink that looked so much like it, it was uncanny. But it was another Sailor ink. So I don't know what was going on there. Okay. Ooh, come on, sunlight. Don't abandon us now. Ooh, my. Well, it'll be fun to look at these after they've dried and see how similar my two blues are and my two greens are. I know I got these on sale somewhere. Because that's what I do. <laughs> I find stuff on sale and then I buy three times as much as I would have normally. Okay, so we're going to let him dry. It's always interesting to see how they dry. There's all these things going on around the edge here. Very interesting. Ooh. And kind of smelly. Like shoe polish or something. Hmm. Interesting. I've always wanted to do a video on the different smells of ink, but how would I even get that across to you? I don't know. But, you know, inks do smell in very interesting ways. Some smell amazingly good and some smell amazingly bad. Okay, we're down to our last two boxes. So who do we have left here? Okay. Let's see. Are these guys matching up? Are we focusing? We gotta focus. Focus, people, focus. Oh my goodness, look, it's the Space Needle again. Ooh, it's the Space Needle and a long-haired guy headbanging, which is appropriate for Seattle, because, you know, grunge. Okay, everybody out there who like grunge, say whoop, whoop. Okay, so this is Yozakura. Yozakura which sounds like yo, Sakura. So I wonder if this is something to do with cherry blossoms. Ooh, oh, I can just feel the sunlight draining from the world. I'm trying to write faster. I can't talk any faster though. I mean, I can talk faster, I just can't talk less. <laughs> that is just impossible. Okay, Sailor, Shikiori. Ooh, I don't know if I didn't dip enough or if it's just a a very shady ink. Yo the Kura. Yo the Kura. Hmm. It's writing kind of strangely. Or perhaps that's my lack of sunlight. I don't know. Okay. Swatching, swatching, swatching quickly. Okay, so, ooh, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the, um, I think it's a pen BBS ink called Strawberry Milkshake, which I don't have, so I can't compare it, but it's that kind of pale, I don't know, sort of a pale mauve color. Very interesting. Okay, so we're going to see how he dries, and we are going to swatch our last ink very quickly before the sun completely goes away. And I usually let these cards dry for a few minutes after I'm done, but if I let them dry for too long, we won't be able to see them because it will be dark. So I might not let them dry too much today. So they will still be a little bit wet when I show them afterwards. Okay, so here is our last one. If we can get this to focus. And this is Fuji. Come on now. Fuji Sugata. Hmm. Very interesting symbols. Okay. Fuji Sugata. Which looks like a lovely purple. Okay. Oof. Oof. I think there's a cloud going by. It's getting even darker. And the wind is picking up. Okay. And people have been setting off fireworks. Why are they setting off fireworks on Mother's Day? Oh my goodness. I'm glad Gus is going deaf because if he could hear the fireworks, he would be so upset. Um, but I don't think he's upset right now because of fireworks. I think he's upset because I'm talking to my phone. 
which always upsets him. Okay, Fuji. Fuji? Is that Fuji like Mount Fuji? Sugata. Hmm. So, I don't know. I need to look up these names to see what they mean. I mean, is this supposed to be like the color of Mount Fuji? I, I remember seeing paintings of Mount Fuji, and it does look kind of purplish in the background. I don't know. Okay. And both of these last two seem to be very kind of, kind of watery, kind of like the Manyo inks or like the um, Troublemaker inks, that kind of thin watery looking ink that seems to be really popular these days. And I, I do see some, some different colors going on in there. I see some pink and some purple. Now that's just on the swatch. I don't know about the writing. Okay, so I'm going to set this down and I'm going to give them about five seconds to dry. Oh. And I'm not even going to turn the camera off because if I turn the camera off, the sun is going to go away completely. So I'm just going to put this bottle away and we're going to start at the beginning and see how things are looking. And they have had, they've all had a few minutes to dry except the very last one. So just get these boxes out of the way okay so here is Tokiwa Matsu is it focusing it's looking a little out of focus but there is quite a bit of reddish kind of reddishy orange sheen on this hmm that's very interesting so where the sheen is or when it sheens, it makes it look like a much lighter green. See, here's here's no sheen. It's looking much darker. And then when the light shines on it and you see the sheen, it looks like a much more yellowish green. So that's very interesting. And I do see some shading in the writing. Of course, writing with a glass nib is not the best way to, to tell about, um, you know, writing with the ink because it lays the ink down so thickly. Okay, here is Miruai, which is kind of a dark, it's like a dark blue-black. It looks like it almost has some green to it. So I guess we would call this a teal. This is a dark teal, and it does have some reddish sheen on it. Very pretty. Hmm, mm-hmm. All this close up and far away stuff is just making the focus go crazy. All right, here is Yonaga, which is a beautiful blue. Ooh, it has some green sheen. It seems like most blues shade red or pink, but this one is definitely green. And what's the other one that shades green? Um, is it Azurite, Mommy Azurite? Very cool. It's not a crazy sheener, but you can definitely see that. Hmm, don't see any shading going on there. Very pretty blue, though. Okay. And here is Shimoyo. That looks like a G, but <laughs> it's a Y. That's going to confuse me in months to come. So this is also kind of a dark blue-black, but this one is definitely blue-blue and not tealish blue. And it does have some red sheen. Hmm, maybe this evening sunlight is good for showing sheen. I don't know. It seems like when the, um, sorry, that was Gus. It seems like when the sun is higher in the sky, I can't always show the sheen very well. Hmm, mm -hmm. don't see any shading. Let me fit these guys in here. Let's see, two more to go. So here is the Yozakura, which is that interesting pink, and it really made the card buckle. Wow, that's interesting. It looks like it's doing some interesting things to the paper here. It really soaked in. 
So I don't see any sheen on it, but I'm guessing this would be a good shader. And you can see in the writing that that would be a nice shader. So a very, a very subtle pink. Pinkish, pinkish plum. Hmm. Well, very interesting. And I would like to compare that to Strawberry Milkshake, which is also that kind of a subtle, dusty rose color. All right, and here's our last one. This is Sailor Shikiori Fuji Sugata. And of course, he's not quite dry yet because I'm just rushing through this. But that is a lovely, lovely purple. And can we see that little area? Well, it's still drying there. So I don't see any sheen on on the dried part up here. I don't see any sheen. But again, this looks like it would be a nice shader. So I bet this would be lovely in a pen. Hmm. Very pretty. All right. Well, that is all for today's abbreviated Swatching Sundays. I hope you have enjoyed your day with your family. And I hope I'm able to get this video uploaded. So everybody cross your fingers. Wish me luck. And I hope to see you again soon. So take care. Bye-bye.